having a crack at this question one here. Uh, the question is about silver iodide, and the first question is, well, nothing to do with silver iodide specifically, but define the term of enthalpy uh, of lattice formation. Well, it's the uh, energy change when one mole of a solid, got to put that in there, ionic substance is formed from it's really important this gaseous ions and that's all we can say really i mean it doesn't ask for the equation but that's the definition so it's the energy change when one mole of a solid ionic substance is formed from its gaseous ions um you know definitions and equations are great i'm going to put the equation in here anyway like for um for agi so this would be uh, ag plus gas plus i minus gas goes to agi solid that would be the equation for it but literally the definition is just the equation in words all right one mole of a solid ionic substance formed from its gaseous ions 1.2 bit of a calculation to do here same uh, some enthalpy change data are shown in table one so what we've got is delta h solution delta h hydrations uh, and what we need to do is calculate the enthalpy of lattice formation so i know that delta h solution equals uh, delta H lattice uh, dissociation um, plus the sum, if you like, of our um, enthalpy of hydrations for all of our ions, all right? So um, delta H sol, uh, well, that is uh, plus 112. That equals this delta H lattice dissociation. Um, well, these are negative numbers, so I'm going to go minus 464 and minus 293. Now, in AGI, there's only one of each ion, so I don't need to multiply those up. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to invert this number. Yeah, so I'm going to take this over here because I know that the enthalpy of lattice formation is going to be an exothermic reaction. So minus delta H lat, or, you know, like the negative. So this will be lattice association here, okay? So basically lattice or lat ass, um, which is lattice formation. Uh, that equals minus 112, minus 464, minus 293. So what I'm going to get here is um, minus 112, minus 464 minus a 293 and equals minus 869 my equals minus 869 kilojoules per mole okay so i'm happy with that i mean well you could just move the numbers over to the left hand side and find lattice dissociation which would be a positive number but this ooh, needs to be a negative number so that's my answer there it's got to be negative so 1.3 now, this is a question about the perfect ionic model. Why does that give a smaller numerical value than what we've just calculated in 1.2? Well, of course, with a perfect ionic model, we assume no covalent character. So if it's a smaller numerical value, that means it's less negative. So what that means is that AGI will have, it must have some covalent character. So I'm going to say that AGI... Um, some covalent character that causes the attraction between Ag plus ions and I minus ions to be stronger. Hence, delta H uh, lattice. Um, well, lattice formation, let's say, is more negative than compared to the perfect ionic model. Okay, so that term there, covalent character, um, they're going to be looking for that, I reckon, in the mark scheme because, you know what, Everywhere you go, everything you read about comparing perfect ionic model to stuff, they talk about that. So that's got to be in there. 
So 1.4, identify a reagent that could be used to indicate the presence of iodide ions in aqueous solution. So what we're looking for here is essentially just silver nitrate. Okay, we've used this a lot, silver nitrate. Observation, it will be a pale yellow precipitate. And I'm just going to show off here of AGI solid. I'm just saying what it is as well. Um, okay, so enthalpy question there. A little bit of rearrangement, as we would expect with any of the expressions we use nowadays. Okay, they ask us to rearrange them. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty confident. I've got all the marks on that. Uh, I'm happy with my explanation of um, you know the perfect ion model um, and my definition of enthalpy of lattice formation. So we'll see what the mark scheme's got to say.